So here we go again, we're in Austria, and, uh, stopped riding for a minute and we're just about to go up a hillside hopefully. This one isn't done out for some reason. I haven't lost anything. I'm going to do a short review while I'm riding along on my um, on my Tenere. Uh, this is the second one I've had. Uh, first one I absolutely loved. This one I'm I'm just getting into it now. It's been a superb bike this journey. I've got to say, absolutely nothing has gone wrong with it. It's it's. Uh, it's purred along like a kitten. Brrr. And uh, yeah, it's been really good. I've loved riding it. Uh, just concentrating because I'm not sure where we are. This uh, plastic bag that keeps getting in the way is my um, tank bag cover because I don't have one, and all my equipment is inside there. So I've just, I've just literally stuck a uh, bin liner over the top of it, and uh, it stops all my cameras getting um, wet. And here we are, purring through a town. So hopefully, you're going to see some of the beautiful Austrian countryside. And it is stunning, it really is stunning here. I recommend it to anyone that rides a motorcycle. Um, to get on the train across to France and come to Austria. You will not be disappointed in the beautiful things you're gonna see. I keep saying beautiful, but you know, I, I, it's stunning. It is absolutely stunning here. Yeah. Whee! I don't know if you can hear Ben's bike on the uh, there's a on the camera, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to go around these sharp corners and um, show you the scenery around us. Good. Yeah, unfortunately you missed the crossing at the uh, Austrian border because um, it was hammering it down the rain. So I didn't have the camera on, but they just waved us through. No problems whatsoever.
Didn't, didn't need to undo all my bags to get to my passport. That crystal water there. Woohoo! Didn't need to do all that. They just waved us straight through. They were really nice. Uh, oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There's some fellas here fixing the wall. Look at that. Wow. That is pure mountain water. Yeah, Tenerife hasn't missed a beat. It's been it's been a joy to ride here. It really has. For some of my height, I'm six foot five, uh, and it is an absolute joy to ride this bike. Yeah, everyone slates them for being down on power and down on this, and can't do this. And uh, I think they're the best bike out there. For me, I would buy another one, definitely. Once I've worn this one out, well, I'm not going to wear it out, obviously, but... Um, the electronic suspension's been really good because um, we got to where we were going, took everything, all the bags off, just pressed the button and there it was again, back here, back in normal mode without all the weight on it. And uh, yeah, we went up a mountainside that day, which I couldn't film because I had no power in my GoPro batteries. So I missed out on that. There was a group of us went up there and it was really lovely. I had a lovely ride up there without all the weight on the back. Uh, yeah, it's 30 through here. Now, that lot of logs there would do me lovely for winter time. Chuck them on me, what log fire. I mean, it really has been a joy to ride this fight. 